Good morning, Mustangs. Today is Monday, June 10th, and it is an S1 day. The SAT word of the day is spurn, meaning reject, turn down. The lunch for today is mashed potatoes and chicken bowl and seasoned corn. Today on the show, we have a story about an indoor volleyball place and an interview with Miss Glenn about Senior Spirit Shirt. So sit back and relax, because NHS Update starts right now. Good morning, Mustangs, and welcome to this episode of NHS Update. I'm Adeline Jeanette. And I'm Stephen Allinger. Let's get started with some announcements. There will be an Art Honor and Artisphere meeting today after school in room 121 to discuss future plans for next year. Also, there will be a meeting tomorrow at 6 p.m. in the GSU for students enrolled in a foreign language interested in going on a trip to Italy. See Ms. Holmes with any questions. Any student taking AP Calculus next year should attend a brief meeting on Wednesday after school in room 227 about the summer assignment. If you cannot attend, please see Ms. Danner. Also, students taking AP Physics 1 next year should stop by room 304 after school any day this week to pick up mandatory summer work. See Mr. Allen with any questions. The last SAD meeting of the year will be on Wednesday after school in room 118. Please see Ms. Cohn with any questions. Now, we bring you a story on a place where beach games such as volleyball can, can now be played indoors. Freshman reporters Kimmy Hanoyan and Bella Lorette bring us the story. There's no beach in the town of Norwood, and that was a problem for local business owner John Fleming. And I fell in love with beach volleyball when I was younger, so I wanted to open a facility that I could play all year round. Obviously, we're in New England, it's cold, there's snowing. The Joust Indoor Beach Volleyball Facility opened in Norwood two years ago. Fleming credits his kids for the motivation. I have five children, uh, and four of them are into volleyball. So I really wanted a place where they could play at an early age. Mm -hmm. So that's why I did it in Nord. And while the fundamentals don't change from the court to the sand, Fleming says there are some advantages to playing beach style. I think it's a better workout for you. It's a lot more fun. Um, you know, it's, it's only two on two versus six on six, so you get a much better workout. But regardless of the number of players, Fleming says he always coaches players at Joe's to embrace a team mentality. Yeah, well, obviously it's a team sport, it's not an individual sport. You have to be part of a team, whether it's two people, whether it's four people, whether it's six people. So it definitely, you know, you, you have to get together to be a team. If you're arguing or fighting, it's not going to work out, you know. Fleming says he's watched a lot of high school volleyball over the years since his son Jake and his daughter Emma were both standout players at NHS. His goal now is to expose younger kids to the sport. I don't know if you've noticed it, but when you go to the high school level, people are playing for the first time. They can't serve over the net. Imagine if they played when they were earlier, when they were a younger age. And Fleming says beach volleyball is a fun way to introduce them. My goal is to have the younger you know, generation come in and play when they're in fourth, fifth, sixth grade really early. So by the time they get to high school, Lord can, can become very competitive with volleyball and have a good team. So the next time you're looking for a fun activity, be sure to check out Joust Indoor Beach Volleyball. Reporting for Mustang Magazine, I'm Kimmy Hanoyan. Thanks, ladies. For more stories like that, be sure to check out the latest edition of Mustang Magazine. Now for some more announcements. There's a brief meeting after school in room 312 for any students taking AP Chemistry next year. See Ms. Lemieux with any questions. Now let's send it over to Maggie Curran in the studio to talk about Senior Spirit Shirts. Hi, I'm Maggie Curran and I'm here with members from Spirit Club. So what are you here to talk about? We're selling our Senior Spirit Shirts for next year, which look like this. And then you can get it in blue and gold. Awesome, so where can you buy one? So you can just get a form from Miss Glynn in room 120, or you can just see any Spirit Club member. Okay, and how much are they? The short sleeve are $15, and the long sleeve are $20. And anything else you want to add? Yeah, so we want to get the order in by Friday, so we have them for the first week of school next year. Great, thank you girls, now back to the desk. Thanks, Maggie. There will be a meeting on Wednesday after school in room 323 for any students taking civics next year. See Miss Uppencamp with any questions. Now we send it over to Lars Boothroyd with your sports update. Good morning Mustangs, I'm Lars Boothroyd here with your sports update. Over the weekend, softball beat Hanover 1-0 to advance to the next round of tournament. Today for sports, softball faces Fairhaven at 4 p.m. away. Good luck, girls. There will be a meeting for cross-country tomorrow after school in the dining hall. 
Both new and returning athletes are invited to attend. Also, athletic lockers will be cleaned out Thursday after school. Please remove all belongings from the lockers. Any items left behind will be held for one week and then donated. See Ms. Bustler with any questions. Also, there will be a meeting for cheer after school on Tuesday in the CAF. For more Mustang Sports content, please follow us on Twitter and Instagram at ustangs.com or check us out at ustangs.com. Now back to the desk. And that is all we have for today. As always, make sure to check us out on mustang.media. Hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Have a great day, Mustangs.